This video is going to go over how to program a primary infusion as well as a secondary infusion. So our first step would be to turn on the pump and you can see the on off button there. You can press that and turn it on. You see it'll light up and it's going to beep. First, it's going to ask you to complete a speaker test. So we're going to hold, uh, press and hold the speaker test key. You're going to hear a beep and it's going to ask, did you hear the speaker sound? Yes, we did. I've never come across where we never heard the speaker sound, but there is a no button there if you didn't hear it. Uh, so we, it automatically populates to med surge personality. If we wanted, we could change the personality depending where we're working, critical care or pediatric. Because we're in the lab, we are a med surge area. So we're gonna say no change, okay? We're gonna say this is our new patient. Memory has been cleared, done, okay? So we can go and main display. Uh, will get us to how we will want to program. Um, so you can see the channel is closed right now. So we can open it up. You can either program your pump first or you can load your tubing. So we already primed our tubing, which is another video. We're going to go over that in lab number one. So you can see that the uh, blue clamp here looks like a fish. We have the head of the fish um, and the tail of the fish. So the blue clamp is clamped right now. And we're gonna put the head of the fish into the pump first. So it'll go into this little notch here, okay, and the rest of the tubing will go straight along the bottom here. We're gonna gently push it to the back, and you can hear that it's catching the tubing and rolling it into the pump, and you can see it's also loading it. Okay, so if that beeping bothers you while you're trying to program the pump, you can go alarm silence and it should stop that beeping for a little while. So now our tubing is primed and it's loaded into the pump. We need to tell the pump what kind of rate we want it programmed at. So this is our primary infusion. So whatever our physician says they would like the rate at, uh, so whatever our order is, if it's TKO, it might be five cc's, 10 cc's, or 20 or 15 cc's, depending on where you work. Um, if there's a specific rate, it could be 50 cc's an hour. So maybe we'll do 50 cc's an hour, 50 mLs an hour as per physician error. So five zero we put into the pump and then arrow down will get us down to the volume to be infused. So I primed a one liter bag. However, I don't want this going dry and I wasted a little bit of fluid as I primed this. I'm gonna program a little bit less than one liter so that that way the pump will beep when it's close to empty, but not quite empty. It's a bit of a pain when you get air in your tubing. So let's put 950 mLs for our volume to be infused. We're gonna confirm our primary, okay? And then we can press start. Make sure your roller clamp is open okay? and you've attached it to your patient's lock or their central line. So you can see here, there's uh, some arrows here. If you have an occlusion, or if you forgot to unclamp something, you'll see that the arrows are more and more shaded. And now it's a, uh, called downstream occlusion. If I unclamp, sometimes it will auto clear. Sometimes you might just have to go back, run it through the rate volume and start again, okay? But you can see now it's running. It'll tell us how long it's gonna take for this bag to infuse, 19 hours. Now, if we were going to program a secondary uh, or a piggyback, we would want to make sure that we lower our primary because we want gravity to naturally pull our mini bag. So there's medication in this mini bag. And of course, I've done all my checks and made sure I, I read my PDM. There. There's another video on back priming. Okay. So we would want to make sure that we swab our port with uh, an alcohol swab, let it dry, and we would touch our secondary there. Okay. Um, if our tubing wasn't primed, you can see I forgot to clamp it, so it primed naturally for me. But if we didn't prime it and this was full there, we would want to make sure we back prime. Okay so that our primary pulls into our secondary and it primes that tubing. So we're not giving any air into our pump and into our patient. Okay, so our tubing is all primed. Uh, so let's program a secondary. Our medication is ready to go. Uh, so we have our primary still running in the background. 
Our, oh, air detected. Oh, this is great. So we're going to advance the air bubble. There is another video on how to uh, troubleshoot um, air. Let's take a look there. Oh, there is a bit of an air bubble there. And then it says fluid. So what I would do is make sure that this air bubble is small. If it's very small air bubble, uh, that wouldn't cause any harm to a patient like very like champagne bubbles, that's acceptable. If it's a large bubble, we would wanna make sure we get that out of our tubing. So refer back to that video. It looks like my tubing is all air uh, fluid now, so we'll carry on. Okay, so our primary is at 50 cc's, our volume is 949 now, and let's program our secondary, that's this one. So we would have to check to see how quickly we want this to infuse. We're gonna say that this uh, bag is to infuse over 30 minutes. So if there's 100 mLs in here, we would program 200 mLs an hour, okay? Because we want that in, to infuse over a half an hour, 30 minutes. Okay, and that'll vary based on your PDM. You'll just have to do some calculations. Okay, arrow down, we'll go to the volume. Um, there's about 100 cc's in here. Um, you could put your exact uh, secondary amount. So say if you added six cc's of a medication, you can put 106 mLs if you want to be infused. It's up to you. I'm gonna put 100 mLs. We're gonna put a callback um, on. So we're gonna put an arrow down and we're gonna make this callback yes. So you can see a yes, no button down at the bottom here and you can see the callback changes to yes. What that's gonna do is after the medication has infused, after the 100 cc's has been infused, the pump is gonna call us back by beeping. Um, and I'll show you that right away. Okay, so uh, we're gonna have a callback for yes, we're gonna confirm, and you can see too, the primary is gonna run at 50 mLs an hour when the secondary is complete. So the secondary is gonna run, and then the primary is in the background, ready to jump in when that secondary is all done. Okay, so now we can go start. We're gonna make sure our roller clamp is open and we can see that the three drops are flowing and that's another video as well uh, in infusing your secondary medication. You can see that it's gonna take about 30 minutes for this uh, uh, medication to go through. So we're gonna say that we let this medication infuse over the next 30 minutes. I'm just gonna change this bag out so you can see. Okay, so when I come back, okay, and then, so we've infused this. I'm gonna go back to my secondary and I'm gonna go. Okay, so I'm just changing this just so I can simulate when it, it when it calls us back, what we're going to do. Okay, so we're just waiting for that callback and you're gonna hear it right away. There we go, secondary called at 13.03. So that would signify that our secondary is finished. So we are gonna come, we're gonna look, make sure that our mini bag has infused, that it's empty, and it is. There is a little bit left in the chamber here. So it's up to you if you want to um, program a little bit more fluid to go in, that's up to you, okay? Um, so what we can do is uh, we need to program a uh, 15 cc flush, okay? The reason for this is because there's still medication in this IV line that we want to get cleared out. So when we program a 15 cc flush at the same secondary rate, it's going to pull from our primary and flush with our primary fluid. So let's go to secondary again. The rate, we're going to have the same, 200. 15 cc's, the reason being the tubing from our pump to our patient is about 15 cc's. And we're gonna take the callback off this time. We're gonna say no callback. We know most of our medication is already in the patient. We don't need to be called back, okay? It's going to go back to our primary right after this 15 cc's is in, okay? So we're gonna confirm that secondary and start that up. We'll clamp our secondary, because it will still pull from there if we had a little bit more medication in there. And you're gonna see now it's gonna draw from your primary, which of course is just normal saline. So we're basically just flushing our line with normal saline, okay? At that secondary rate, okay? Just to get rid of that medication in there. It's gonna take about five minutes. 
And then after the five minutes, it's not gonna beep. It's silently gonna go back to a primary infusion, which is set at 50 cc's an hour.